Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Last time we had some flashbacks and learned about some email, and we came all the way through this doorway. If you head back, however, we can talk to the one person that was in a different spot for some reason and I forgot to talk to him. So anyway, this guy has something important to talk to us about. Well, only if it's quick. Don't really have a lot of time to dilly dally and talk to everyone. We have things to do. Email address. Safest way to share a secret is through email. Uh, sure, I guess. Anyway, it's settled. Thing appears to be in order. I'll send you an email in a little while. Don't worry, it won't take too long. All right. Well, that's pretty much all we can do with that. So now we can move forward this way. And there is somebody of importance to talk to around here, as well as another scene that I'd forgotten about. <laughs> There's a lot of scenes around here. Now, I'm assuming there's supposed to be one of those translucent tablets in her hand. Either that or she's just looking at her hand, considering what just happened when she tried to touch that big yellow thing. Chief. Hmm? Alan? One Ooh. or the other. Alan? Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Hmm? Weird things keep happening to Xion. Are you all right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Okay, then. There's that girl again. And that's about all we get of it. And then it disappears, and we continue on with walking. Alan, thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. I did mention this before. But it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief. The incident, right? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Uh, and she's gone. Oh. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work. And he actually was going to do it. Maybe. If he didn't chicken out. <laughs> Oh, well, with that being said, uh, most of the stuff back here is kind of pointless. No one says anything all that interesting. Yeah, he's back there. Try reasoning with him. He won't come out. You can talk to this guy. He doesn't really do anything, but you can. Yeah, they uh, talked about what we saw during the opening FMV where they touched that yellow object that we saw back there and disappeared. It looks like a big save point, that one. And, yeah, and this guy apparently is having a lot of issues with it. Now, they did mention the term Realian. Uh, we didn't uh, get any idea of what that is yet, but they will explain it shortly. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like the things that we blow up in the simulator. So, anyway, I think you... Yeah, you need the uh, service data, which is in your room, which is dead in front of us. And you, I think... Okay, it's not you. 
there's somebody I wanted to chat with. Was it you? Nah, there we go. Wants to talk to you about tuning up the Realians. He was a military doctor and basically got himself stuck with uh, his current job. And he doesn't really know it as well as uh, he did as he was a f kind of a field medic before. Um, what do you say? The red switch over there uh, opens and closes the bulkhead. Uh, I think it just basically opens and closes the door somewhere in about here kind of deals. But uh, anyway. Sure. And look at that. We got another segment address door. They throw a lot of these at us uh, early in the game there. Anyway, there's no more emails that we can get at this point. Uh, we have to go through another cutscene first. This is uh, Shion's room, and let's pick up the sparkle. Because sparkle, of course, is important. And there's a save point, and you can rest in her bed if you uh, want to. Anyway... Yeah, how are you doing? So the MWS, the weapon that we used in the uh, thing there, and uh, yeah, it's basically it's passed its tests or it's about to pass its tests. Yeah, so there you go, the, the white dialogue there. She sent us a real one. It's just taking a long time to send that large attachment of an actual item in an email. Go figure, I don't know how that works, but anyway, basically she makes a joke about um, using it allows you to lose weight and whatever. Uh, there's not much we can do with that one. Probably something bad. We don't see a lot of Miyuki in this game, but uh, we do see her once or twice, if I remember correctly. Now, if we go up here, I don't think you see anything interesting. I think this guy is blocking off. Yeah, we won't be able to get this way. That's where we need to go in order to go to the bridge. It's blocked off at this point, so we have to go deal with the uh, Realian stuff, which is further down here. Unfortunately, the walking and the running is still very, very slow. Go up here. Eventually, we'll find a very large door. Now, there's a few scenes here, and then some talking, and then some more scenes, so it's going to take a little while. And the dialogue in here for the normal character, the NPCs, is actually kind Hello. of interesting. You rang? So, I'm going to talk to most of them. My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. And of course, Miss uh, Xion is of course like a super genius. So let's talk to you. So yeah, she just needs to go and talk to all of them and figure out, uh, you know, what's going on here. So apparently she does something small for this one here. So these Realins, even though they didn't really explain too much about what they are, they're obviously, uh, they're talking about in putting data inside them, so they're obviously not, you know, 100% biological. They're not exactly robots or um, like an android or anything like that. They're kind of like a step above that and they kind of give more details as time goes by. Yeah, and as you can see these guys were kind of just born so I guess we can create these realians at this point in the game. No doubt. A lot of them have uh, second uh, lines of dialogue. And in this case, it does make sense to talk to them about that because it gives you an idea of uh, what Realians deal with and also Xion's uh, kind of relationship to uh, people as well as Realians, humans, whatever. Now, I'll just give you one more line of dialogue. Yeah. And of course, there are female ones as well, and they look slightly different. Fables and Proverbs. 
unable to use them properly. I'm always being laughed at. Better safe than curry. Hmm. Yeah, others? Casting food before swine, adding insult to perjury. Uh, roast meat prey upon the meal. Where did you learn those? Uh, yeah, I think you should change teachers. Okay, same line again. Some of them have more than two lines of dialogue. That one's just rather amusing to me. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Sure, you're not particularly interesting. Uh, let's make sure to talk to the researchers first if you're interested in talking to them. The compensator program, whatever that does. Basically, they get overstressed. Oh, I see. So just because they've been created doesn't mean they're, you know, fully realized, uh, mentally mature human beings or the equivalent of. Uh, they, they have to grow up just like anybody else. Reality developed for combat. Okay, then. You understand. Thank you. He doesn't seem to understand. No, oh, well. Talk to you. Maintenance and tuning, blah, blah, blah. Most of the time, I just, I like to talk to them because it does, like I was saying earlier, it shows off Xion's reaction to them and kind of the, the problems that these realians are dealing with. And, of course, these problems can be uh, expensive extended to the re the problems with other realians as well. Hmm. Spreading a virus or something. So who is this person? <laughs> Poor Alan. <laughs> Confused and embarrassed, unable to converse normally. Yeah, I think Alan knows <laughs> exactly what's going on. Probably not in this case, but he's having the same feelings with Xion, to an extent. Anyway, uh, they're... Okay, they didn't block that off. At some point, they'll block that off. Slowly lost mental composure. Bodies begun to manifest minute spasms. Fear of battle. Hmm. natural for all living things. Well, pretty much. Same as us humans. You can tell that she's got uh, a great amount of respect for all life. It's kind of part of her character. Once you've talked to all of them, then you get another cutscene, and well, this happens. I've made some adjustments. But please contact Third Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. I wonder who that mentor Besides, would be. I always wanted to work in the 3rd Division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want a transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the 1st Division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows, maybe they're right. I have a hard time buying that one. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? And who would this be? 
Lieutenant Virgil. Ah. Whoa, what's with the scars, buddy? What in the world are you doing there, buddy? Yeah, the theme the stench. really kind of what? gets the creepiness going. It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Oh? Can't you smell it? You seem like a crazy Makes person. Me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the lieutenant commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model realians. And yet your support, huh? In a battle against them, the last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons-grade realians. Um, excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity. But in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? <sighs> Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. Just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Yeah, so as we can see, the uh, comparison here, realians are very much like... DME addict? Very much like kind of androids or robots with AI in most sci-fi series. The idea is, is that... Uh, while they have rights, as Xion pointed out, they don't have the respect of all people. And they don't really explain what a DME addict is at this point, but these guys all have new lines of dialogue now. So let's go and chat with them a little bit. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right, so, uh, Maybe they only have one line of dialogue now. I'm not sure. I didn't talk to everybody every single time. I just talked to a few of them before I started recording this episode, so. We don't think of ourselves as tools. We fight in order to protect everyone. And that's one of the things I like about the realians in this game versus, uh, you know, p characters like Data, say in Star Trek, or any other android, robot, with AI, whatever, that's trying to basically become human, they're trying to get used to emotions. These guys already have emotions. They have pride. They have, you know, love for people. You know, the other one over there, you know, is has a crush on Alan. These people actually have emotions. They are basically people in all but the sense of how they were born. 
Yeah, a woman's bracelet. That was the uh, thing on his uh, arm there that uh, they kind of focused the camera on. Um, oddly enough, that's not just there to make him seem slimy. And we'll learn something about it later. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no way of making the dialogue go any faster than that, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, he doesn't want to chat right now. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, we get a few more lines of dialogue anyway, and it's interesting that uh, they have certain reactions to Lieutenant Virgil. Oh. Okay. What's that? Don't like heartless ways of thinking, huh? Hmm. Go, go around here and we'll talk to the last one there. Yeah, they've blocked this area off now. We can't go over here. Bringing in supplies right now. Would you use the other door? I think that's the door we came from, so we can't actually go back that way. Hmm. Anyway, now this one is really difficult. This was the scene I was talking about. Once we get out here, we can get emails again. My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. And there's one that's very difficult to get that you probably wouldn't have got always like that. if then something happened. You didn't go back and check. Is he an old acquaintance? And you really have no we reason. Were classmates to. at the military academy, and I've been stuck with them since then. Unfortunate for Milsha. you. I see. So we don't know so, what Milsha is or what happened why. there. You knew about that, huh? Then again. Anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to 2nd Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge. Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye! <laughs> Her reaction there with the stamping of the feet was pretty funny. Anyway, of course, since it's an RPG and it doesn't really matter when we get to places unless there's a clock on the screen, we need to head directly back in here. Otherwise, we will miss something very important. And, yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. Yeah, once you pop here, you get an email. This is the only way to get this email, and it's part of an email chain where you will send replies, and that's something we haven't done yet. But let's take a read of this real quick. Anyway, this person here is from Vector, and currently we're tracking an intruder who was hacked into 2nd R&D Division, and blah, 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 blah. If you want to read this, you may go ahead. Um, but basically, the idea here is there's an intruder, and they've stolen something. So I'm just going to let the camera sit on there for a quick second each time. Yeah, so we got to capture the intruder. Ultimate goal is to have something to do with the creation of a large AI and engineered to destroy. So yeah, the idea here is we're supposed to figure out who this uh, thief is and then figure all that stuff out throughout the game. And by the end of the game, we should be able to figure it out. And we will because it's all done via email and she on advising people so we don't have to actually do anything for it but uh, we get some pretty nice rewards out of doing this so yeah so that's it for there so you have to hit back first and then we talk to the bunny real quick 
episode will be a little bit long because of this, but I wanted to make sure that I did this in the same episode as those uh, FMVs there because it has a lot to do with it. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Give some serious thought before making a decision. Hmm. Anyway, I don't really care about the little sub story here, so I'm not going to really focus on it. Like, I haven't even read that whole email. Um, I just, to me, it's not particularly interesting. Uh, but, like I said, I'll stop on different parts of it there if you guys are interested in it. And so the reply button up at the top right is now available, so hit circle. And we have two different options. For whatever reason, there's a third one there. But uh, anyway, it'll show you kind of a preview of what your email will say. But in this case, we want to help because it's going to get us lots of stuff later in the game. Anyway, so technically, as we go now, we're going to see um, this email does this, this email does that. Um, each email that we receive counts as an email, each email that we send counts as an email. So I will be basically just going by and making sure that I have the correct uh, number of emails both sent and received throughout the game to kind of keep up with it. And uh, as I go into the email, you'll be able to see that and you'll be able to keep up in that same manner. Anyway, that's pretty much all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Xenosaga. Next time, we are going to head to the bridge at long last. It's only taken us, what, two and a half, three episodes to get there? So, yeah, let's head there next time and figure out exactly what uh, the uh, guys on the bridge want with me. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.